Hi there, I'm Dr. Struby. I'm a chiropractic physician in Pinellas Park, Florida. Wanted to speak for a moment or two about temporomandibular joint problems. That is the joint in your jaw, where your jaw hooks up with the skull. Right in here, that joint where these bones meet is the temporomandibular joint, usually referred to as the TMJ. That joint can have problems just like any other joint. And there are any number of different causes for problems with the temporomandibular joint. Age can be a factor. Generally speaking, trauma almost always plays a part in people that have a jaw problem. The most common form of trauma these days is automobile accidents. And getting your jaw injured in an automobile accident is actually not uncommon, especially with rear end collisions. If you were impacted from the rear, the very first thing that would happen is your head would rock back, way back like that, very, very quickly. As it is doing that, the jaw tends to lag behind. It can't go back quite as fast, and you end up opening your jaw far further than it is designed to open. That can stress and strain the tissue and supporting ligaments in the joint. A moment later, your head is thrown forward, then your jaw is pushed up against your chest and everything is compressed. So there are two forms or two mechanisms of injury in a situation like that. The temporomandibular joint is different than most joints in the body in that it has a disc associated with it. It's one of the only joints in the body other than the spine that has a disc uh, as part of the joint. And that disc is held in place by a ligament. Oftentimes those ligaments can be damaged. Um, with temporomandibular joint problems, there are a number of different approaches for treatment. Oftentimes getting a splint made, similar to what you see football players or boxers wear, um, and using those at night, it helps to reposition the joint while you sleep, and that can be very helpful. Also things like gentle massage, physical therapy, primarily in the form of something like ultrasound over the masseter muscles. Those are the muscles that are involved in chewing. That can be very helpful. Um, gentle mobilization of the temporomandibular joint can also make a difference. So if you are having problems with your jaw, I would suggest that you have yourself evaluated and if needs be, have yourself treated. You'll be glad you did. And I want to thank you for your time and I'd like you to have a good day.